leading is about carrying out the plans and guiding people to reach the organization's goals. Lead by example. You always have to do this in the workplace. You can do this by being on time, paying attention to the smallest of details. Even you, yourself, if you know that your friends value your opinion, then lead them in the right direction. Show them how to do the work that they cannot do. Help each other. Lead by example. A good leader delegates tasks, allows other people to take control of situations for which the leader will always remain accountable for, whether they fail or whether they succeed. A good leader also knows that they must give the employees the time in the sun. So let your employees shine. To delegate means to hand over responsibility for a task to someone else. Give orders and instructions to your employees and deal with conflict and motivate workers where necessary. Well, I don't mean to steal your line, boss, but, uh... <laughs> I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> How would Hannibal know that the plan has come together? By setting up a control, which means he will compare the end result with the plan. If we are not where we had planned to be. Then we go back to the drawing board and create and implement new plans to set things right. So some of the responsibility that falls on management when it comes to control is that managers should ensure that all their staff members are qualified to do their job. If your employees or your staff is not properly qualified, then you as the manager have the responsibility to make sure that you give your employees proper training. Managers must check that the quality of goods or services are of proper standard, some things that will not make the customer complain. Financial resources are controlled through budgets and financial analysis. Managers must ensure that the goals are reached within the planned timelines. If not, it will cost you money. In addition to the four basic tasks of management, planning, organizing, leading and controlling, there are six additional tasks. They include coordination which is number one. It talks about regular meetings which have to be held to ensure that everybody in the business works together to achieve the same goals. Number two, communication. Remember we spoke about it at the beginning of this chapter? It is the transfer of information, ideas and feedback between people in the business. Number three, decision making. The manager must decide what has to be done, that it is in the best interest of the business and the staff members. But they can only do this once all the facts have been considered. 4. Delegation. The manager cannot do everything. And therefore, they need to give authority and responsibility to their subordinates to ensure that there is a fair distribution of tasks. Number five, discipline. The purpose of disciplinary action is to improve future behavior, and it may range from verbal warnings to dismissals. Just be careful, especially in South Africa, because there is a process which has to be followed when disciplining an employee. Motivation. With discipline comes motivation. You always have to motivate people. If you are going to punish people, you must motivate people. The manager has to encourage staff members 
to work towards achieving the goals of the business. Activity time. Wait, 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 wait. Before we do the activities, remember the little game that we played earlier on where I said that you should imagine that you were President Ramaphosa right now. Um, where you had to do the planning, the organizing, the leading, the controlling, the coordination, the communication, the decision making, the delegation, the discipline and the motivation. Now, considering all those tasks and all the decisions that you have to make for the best outcomes possible, the best future possible for South Africa, would you still make the same decisions? Activity time. You will have to do activity 2 on page 74 plus the additional activity 4 which will be found under the lockdown folder.